When you want to populate a cell based on some defined criteria, nested if statements are often used. What you may not know is that there's two new functions with Excel 2019 that allow you to do essentially the same thing with a much simpler format. The switch function works with exact matches and the ifs function works with either exact matches or matches within a range. This video was made using Microsoft Excel 2019. We'll take a look at the ifs or ifs if you prefer function first and then we'll look at the switch function. The ifs function in my mind is a little more versatile because it can deal with exact matches or matches within a range. By the way, both of these functions are new with Excel 2019. I'm using a professional version of Microsoft Office, which came with Excel 2019. If you're using Office 365, then you already have these functions. Let's quickly review the nested if procedure, the old procedure. I've got a range of scores here that a student could get on his exam and a grade that would be assigned to each. So I have my names here and I have their scores. And let's look at our first nested if statement. So if the contents of cell F4 are greater than or equal to 90, I would give him an A. And if that's not true, I go right into my next if statement. And if that's not true, I go into another one. And so on down the line until finally there's no other alternative but to say he gets a grade of F. Now you can go the other direction with this and start with F and work toward A if you switch the direction of all those greater thans and make them less than or equal to. The point is you've got a lot going on here to think through and a lot of sets of parents that make this syntax a little bit clunky. So if I wanted to use the ifs function instead, I would come down here and type in my first logical test is if this is greater than or equal to 90, that student gets an A. You type in then your second logical test, B. There's a couple things you should note. On my last logical test, I made it greater than or equal to zero to catch any other possibility and assign that student an F. Also note that none of the information in these blue cells is being pulled into these statements over here, nor is it up here. These are both, whether you use nested ifs or ifs, these are self-contained functions. And the third thing I would point out is that these are left to right functions. Excel is going to work through this function from left to right. As soon as it comes to a true statement, it's going to label that cell with what you tell it to and then it will stop. This is a case where we've used the ifs function to select from ranges. You can also use it for exact matches. You may not find the syntax of the ifs function to be that much simpler than nesting ifs, I'll admit, but the switch function is a little bit better. Let's take a look at the switch function. In this switch scenario, we'll be using exact matches. We have a score of one through five assigned to these hotel ratings and we want to substitute a word for the score. If we were going to do this with a nested if statement, I would do it like this. Again, I would work from low to high or high to low. But if this score equals one, I would give it a hostile rating. If it was a two budget and so on down the line, and I would catch everything left over with this premier. So I'm working from low to high in that case. How would the switch function handle this? Using the switch function as an alternative, the syntax is very simple. You just type in equals switch. You state what cell you want Excel to look at. In this case, it's F12. You state 
the value and the result, the value and the result, all the way down the line until you get all of your values and results typed in and it will give you an answer. And let's autofill that down. Please note the switch function like the FS function is going to work left to right and as soon as it reaches a satisfactory solution it will stop. Also please note that if you have a score that is outside the range of possibilities it will report an error. Up here if that happens you don't get an error you get a false reading. So that is one significant advantage for the switch function. Also on the nested ifs and ifs over here, if I get an invalid score of say 220, it's going to assign that student a grade of A. And likewise, the same thing will happen down here. So that's one to thing to think about with uh, ifs and switch and nested ifs. You may want a result like this when you get an invalid input. I don't believe the FS function or the switch function are hugely advantageous over the nested if functions, but you may want to consider these. Uh, the syntax is a little simpler with both, and that's the advantage. I hope you found this content useful and informative. Please give me a thumbs up and write me a comment if you have something to contribute. Thank you for visiting Spreadsheet Geek.